Okay, I think I've created what might, might be the nicest 2008 Cadillac DTS out there. I bought this from a retired police officer that owned it since new and took amazing care of it. The leather is literally like brand new. It's got 80,000 miles on it, but uh, there's no wear at all on the leather. I don't know how he did that. Um, he said only a few people have sat in the back seat and it's just pristine. Um, this is the performance model, so it's loaded with rain sensing wipers, folding mirrors, heated air conditioned front seats, heated rear seats, uh, heated steering wheel, and no oil, oil leaks. It runs perfectly. I've added several things to make it even nicer. The Sony XAV 5000 uh, unit, so it's got Apple CarPlay, um, Waze, and everything a modern 2018 car has, or 2019. I also added a radar detector. I've turned off the K band because every, coincidentally, Cadillac has all these sensors that makes that thing go off like crazy. And most cops around here use KA band anyway, so if it goes off, it's definitely a cop. Uh, I've got the Garmin um, Speak Plus. It's a dash cam and a GPS, and it has Alexa. So you can just say, Alexa, play Fleetwood Mac. Music by Fleetwood Mac, right? Yes. Shuffling songs by Fleetwood Mac on Amazon Music. So, all the steering wheel controls work. I bought the stereo from Crutchfield, and they come with a wiring harness that's already uh, pre-wired for this car, so all the steering wheel controls work. It did have the Bose system, so it, it made it sound 10 times better getting this new head unit than the previous GPS Bose head unit. I also put a subwoofer in the trunk, but I really didn't need it because uh, there's a Bose subwoofer in the rear trunk, de trunk deck lid. But uh, it really, really sounds good now. I also put a rear camera. It's called a DD Pi Mini 2 on the back because I don't have full coverage on this car. And I, if somebody rear ends me, I want proof. And if anything happens behind you and you want to record the video, you just hit that button right there and it will save three minutes before and three minutes after. And if you want to save any dash cam video, you just say, Alexa, tell Garmin to save video. and it will save the video. So the Sony XAV5000 does have an add-on for like 70 bucks, so you can add the Cirrus XM. Um, <clears throat> it comes with an antenna, but this already had a stock antenna, and you can hook up the stock antenna for XM, and I did that, and it didn't seem to have anywhere near as good reception as the one that came with the kit. So I routed that through the trunk and the trunk hinges, and uh, I have that one hooked up, and it seems to work a lot better. So when I wired in the Sony head unit, um, it came, like I said, pre-wired and it's basically just plug and play. And if I didn't put a backup camera in, then uh, I probably could have done it in about 20 minutes. Crutchfield makes it that easy. And I did wire, it has two USB cables coming out of it to plug in your phone. And if you have a USB card, you can uh, plug it in to the other USB cable. And I wired those to that center console so you can plug it in, plug your phone in, put it in there and it doesn't jostle around, you don't have your phone mounted anywhere, and it keeps the interior really, really clean. So one of the best things about this is the trunk. It's gargantuan, perfect, perfect for Costco runs. And I did put a sound ordnance small subwoofer in the back. Uh, didn't really need it, it adds a little bit, but uh, it was only a hundred bucks and it came from Crutchfield and it was pretty easy to put in, so it just adds a little bit. And there's a pass-through for the skis, if you ever have skis. And this one does have the Magna Ride suspension, and uh, I know there's been troubles with it, and I know if it goes out, it's really expensive to replace uh, it with like, but there's aftermarket conversions where you can put uh, just standard struts that come pre-assembled with springs and struts for like 300 bucks. So if they ever go out, it's gonna only gonna be a $300 fix. And the last DTS I had had uh, just a standard suspension in it. This one, it seemed to be a lot smoother, and this one seems to kind of get confused if you do any kind of abrupt maneuvering. 
I've got the Magna Ride on the Camaro and it's a 2018, so in 10 years they've come a long way because the Magna Ride on that is unbelievable. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Magna Ride on this car. Uh, it's perfectly smooth when you're going straight, but like I said, it does get confused if you uh, do any abrupt maneuvering. And I probably will change it out with that aftermarket standard struts at some point, even if it doesn't go bad. So this is my second DTS and both of them have had issues with water in the cabin. And the last one uh, took me forever to figure out what was going on. It would, uh, the cabin would uh, get water in it every time it rained. And I tracked down, there's a service bulletin on the Cadillac DTSs where the, where the hood hinge attaches to the body uh, right in front of the A-pillar. Uh, it would leak. And so there's a service bulletin. And all I did was take silicone and just covered everything with silicone. And all in here and all through here and that fixed that so that was 100% uh, what that was and I'm probably going to do both sides of this one just because there's no reason not to it doesn't hurt anything and then the this one uh, I had it parked on my sloped driveway and I think that might have had something to do with it with it running with the air conditioning on and the passenger side cabin was uh, had water in it in the front and this is a standard Cadillac DTS issue there's you have to pretty much get under it but on the firewall there's a little duck build air conditioning condenser drain and the the duck bills kind of get stuck together or it might get gunk in it so you just have to get under it and put your finger in there and a bunch of water will come out and that fixed that so and I, I let it run on the driveway after I did that and no water at all so every time you change the oil I would sit there and mess with that thing and make sure it's clean and uh it's kind of hard to get to. You definitely have to get under the car to get to it. But if you have water in your cabin on a DTS, it's probably one of those two things.